Rabi ya kase Rabi ya kase Iyo Rabi ya kase The memory ya kwa saa ya dasa na kase Ya tuma kutufu ya mkopa Na wa yene mbezi ni yi Wa yene tini ya mbezi 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 Iyo the memory ya mbezi ya mbezi ya mbezi ya mbezi Ta Abote yine ura Kwa sisha malano kwa zebrae Mwema amene papa Mianu na wako de membre Otekan yebeji ya kumemu Ya da kumemu watu wa Ya sara ya kwa shini yinero Omne yinti ya si akuma Nesa miyo lube Ya da batasi Rabi ya kasi Nasa na wako mbrini ya mesuma piyo Mwema kasa Masa na mwema mshiri Sa ugofuna Masrade Edu mwatu bebya wafrawa Ninyati nkadi Apeso Sa Omeno mwema jina na sara kasa Yang sekasa kasa wanjen chen di piala, macam ni, dah mungkin mata yang jauh, betul mas. Rabi ada se, amen. Alhamdulillah. Amen. Dah sekasa kasa kau rasa aku pernah awak macam mata se, aku main muda pada malam ini, kau ada yang susu bay. Greetings, be the most high God for sending such a great power into this nation to turn the nation into God worshiping nation. For his greatest mercies, we have for the nation that has fulfilled before us from. Amen. But it's righteous and it's worth our change of our God. It's better of all things shall it be done as the word says. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Da orang tuh macam mana dah sana mu? Da orang tuh ah awal amai dah sana mu? Tengah tu pun ada orang tu alasan aku yang akhirnya macam aku dah sini atau mana? Azan itu verse twenty four. Azan chapter nineteen verse number twenty four. Tengok mu, ni Israel tu pun Misri. Wahai Assyria, mu pun siapa yang dah sana? Ayat show asal sifat pun usah deh. Jom kita si Israel mana? Yeah, it's right coming from Misri. The Messiah will come from Syria. The major person is Israel. Oh my, the Messiah is Israel. Israel, oh my, Assyria. So, if you see my Misri, ah, what one said, only Saudi Arabia. I feel Assyria only accountable. I will be able to assassinate our God. The Messiah will come from Moses. I will send the woman for the back Israel. I think I'll start by saying Mohammed, and this is not the account. I'm going to show you how much for the birth matter. Can I be in that other thing? I mean, the Akhbarashum is a Ghana. I mean, the Akhbarashum is a Ghana. It's a very, 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 I remember here, I got a call. Now, we should be some of which I have. That's it, I will be able to. In the afternoon, we are at the camera. Now, as more than, in the afternoon, we are at the camera. This is what I have to do with the afternoon. His Holiness, I mean, Suma Fuya, who explained to us, the teaching is given to us, and he said that, as he has mentioned, the Most High God has sent him to turn this nation into God worshiping nation. So he explained the nation that is God worshiping nation to us. And he mentioned that the nation which is God worshiping nation is a nation that all its inhabitants come together. They worship one God. They have principle of worshiping God is one. They have way of life is one. And this is the nation we call God worshiping nation. He said, the Most High God have appointed three nations for himself, and in this is one to put religion into these three nations. And the religion which is present in the three nations are the religion to whom humanity must enter before they attain salvation on the day of judgment. He gave us a reference to the nations that the Most High God have appointed for himself in Isaiah chapter 19, verse number 24, as was read to us in the scripture. And the nations that are mentioned in the scripture are Israel, Muslim, and Assyria. 
His Holiness, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, as the scripture has mentioned this nation, it is left for him to explain to us. And he says, For Israel, as has been mentioned in the scripture, is the Israel we know. But misery, as mentioned in the scripture, is the land called Saudi Arabia. Then, Assyria, as mentioned in the scripture, is that at the time of prophecy, are the people who are called their camps. And it's these accounts who were settling at the place called Assyria. He said, it is the same accounts who migrated and have resettled in a nation called Ghana. So he's explaining the three nations today, it is going to be Israel, it is going to be Saudi Arabia and Ghana. So the fact that the Most High God has said that he's sending his religion into these three, these three nations, he sent Moses, he gave him a religion and a book which he took to the people of Israel. The same way he has sent Prophet Muhammad, may the blessing be so be upon him, was also given a religion and a book which he took to the people of Mecca in Assyria, in Misri. His holiness, Yamis Muhammad said, it is now the ten of the people of Ghana who are the Assyrians, the Akans. He said, it, this is the reason why it is this time that God, through religion, have reached the nation Ghana. And he said, at this time that God, through religion, have reached the nation Ghana, it is a must for everyone who seeks to obtain comfort on earth worth living and also have peace worth living. Then at the end of it all, you will have comfort in your grave when you die, and then at it all, you have salvation on the day of judgment. He said, it's a must for you to stop whatever form of worship you belong to and come into the true religion of God called Asmidee in the Amen.
Most of my mother was saying, most of my mother was saying, oh my mother, say, my uncle, I can't have a chance, and my father was on the uncle. But my friend was. The government is in your nephew, and the government is in your nephew. Exodus chapter 16, verse number 26. Now say that. Say, if it's a rasa, when you are born in the year, after, what do you have to do? Say, if it's a year, you are born in the year. Now, I guess I have seen when you are born. That is when you are born, okay, when you are born, I am. Now, I'm not a soul, and I'm born some do. The dumb dog is bad. I am sure that the is in a
holiness, a bit more well said. What do we see? The diseases, the ailments, the sickness that we are going through in life. Then all of these gives us the signal that the Most High God has no eye upon us. He is not taking care of us. That is the reason we continue to fall sick in that manner. It's only that you have said that because we are not worshipping God in this true religion, that is the reason we continue to struggle in life. He said that yes, this is because as our ancestors reached this nation, they came along with an idol worship. And this idol worship is what we are practicing in the nation. Up to some time that the white also brought their form of worship to us. And he said that this form of worship that the white brought is also the bigger of the idol worship and that is Christianity. And he said that also is an idol worship God has no idea about it. The later on then the Islamic religion also came. Then the Islamic religion that reached our part of the world is a form of worship that the people who are practicing it are going for spiritual enchantment, living their life with it. So it's only this and all these three forms of worship that are in the nation Ghana, the most high God knew nothing about it because we are not following his principles. Then he said that is the reason we belong to them, but yet Troubles, diseases here and there, hardship here and there, calamities are befalling us. That all is due to the fact that the form of worship we belong to, the Most High God knew nothing about it. That is the reason we continue to struggle in life. Amen. Revelation chapter 7, verse number 11. Now, about Puni, now, Echa and Yuano, Ni Benifono, Ni Asia Safono, Asia. Now, was when any good to you film? Now, what was so young, come on, say that, Amen. A car, so young, come on, Osuna, or not, Osuna, who you come on about, who you come about. You will be out of the other. Not where you should be, where you should be, it's not about to ask up. It's a little bit too much. Be young, I'm going to go to the and also, some of the tablets are still out of the top of the hour when we move of me, Abraham, not a brother, that's a man of the other thing. Abraham, my brother, that's a man. Now, Abraham, remember, a bill is when I think. What's up, my young, or my Israel, and I'm in Arabia. What's my, what's the thing? I'm not sure. Genesis chapter 17, verse number 1. Now, Abraham and Abraham say, If he is a dono, a conono, a razi, you know, share Abraham, not a say the dead. Any young upon two four. Now, to many Nazimu, now, before my mushroom, a dead Emmy or Muntim, now, Mama Abdor and Rodo, now, Abraham's name, boom, boom, now, young upon you, Nicassai. As I was about, Abraham was about to have another old Israel. That I want Arabia, still said that. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse number 9. Also, I'm a better than a common chromatic among no. I'm a money in a row of both irrationism. There was a better girl as a man. Of which he said that 
all the angels fall before the Most High God and then they praise His name by saying Amen. His Holiness, Amen. Smokha said that the religion that they fall on their face is one of the heavenly religion. And he explained to us. He said, This heavenly religion is what the Most High God has descended unto Abraham, of which He then passed it on to His descendants. He allowed the scriptures to be read to us in Genesis, of which He explained to us that as Abraham. Um, appeared before the Lord, he asked him to walk before him and be perfected. Abraham fall on his face to worship the Most High God. So he explained the message that this religion that was given to Abraham or that was descended to Abraham is a heavenly religion that is passed on to Abraham and he has also then passed on to his descendants. Again, one of the heavenly religion of which he explained to us in Zephaniah that was read to us explained that in the end of days, humanity with one accord will worship God in his unified religion by mentioning his name. So his holiness, Yahweh, by calling on the name of the Most High God, is the second part of the Most High God's heavenly religion that was descended onto the earth. His holiness, Yahweh, said, it is these two forms of heavenly religion that are descended onto the earth. His holiness, Yahweh, explained the message that at this time, the God's true heavenly religion Having descended onto the earth, it is a must for all humanity to be part of it in order to obtain peace and comfort on earth and also obtain salvation on the day of judgment. It's only this, Mr. Mohammed said, this religion that says you call upon the name of the Most High God said it will come in the end of the day and it is it that has come now. So at this time that God's true religion has freed the nation Ghana, it's only this, Mr. Mohammed said, that he urged all of us that it is a must that everyone listening to him in this end of days must stop whatever form of worship you belong to and come into the true religion of God. Jesus, O Jaro, what's the year? Trinity, and then I'll say, I have a question. Yahoo, what's the year? Jesus, O Jaro, the year, 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 the they go where I'm from. I am from. Say, I'm from your prayer. What could be there? What's the game? They go where I'm from. Your prayer. On the morning walk. On the sun walk. On the sun walk. On the walk. What could you see? Where are my baby baby? Now for what you see, I see a couple of me. I see a couple of me. I don't even see a lot of me. I see a couple of me. What you want to do, baby? Let me get the big gun out.
that has been descended in, in the nation Ghana through him, his holiness, and which one we have. He said, This is the faith that you have to exhibit. That you have to believe that God is one, and also you have to take yourself away from going for spiritual people, for spiritual assistance, for spiritual help. He said, When you do this, it is there and then that the Most High God will seek, will see to whatever need you need on, on earth, and then provide them for you. Revelation chapter 20, verse number 11. Now, I'm going to go to the book of 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 the book Na mwune ufu nkakrama yi akase Te wote yi tina hingwe nu enyim Na mwune asabe yi nwe suwa atumwada Na Na wwe kwe kwe mwuma mwu A kwe 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 mwuma mwu Kwe kwe la sanyi kwe la ba sasu ra E sumi ya kwa mwune kwe 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 Ia papa wa ajwa lukru Ia kona wa ajwa lukru E yi na kwa Te kwe Atumwada na kwe kwe Na wewe umwe bisa wa ya ipa umwe mu. Ati nina eje ya ya kwa ya kwa ya kwa ya kwa ya kwa ya kwa mu. Ati nina kwa uzi wa kwa mu mu mu. Na wate umwe bie na kwa ya wadra kwa kwa ya. Kwa kwa ya kwa ya kwa ya kwa ya kwa ya. Na wwe ya kwa 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 ya Na ubiara we mwone te wakso anu wa mkwamu mwane mwono Watu wa nisi ni kujia kuzitahi Ati Sa wakso anu wa mkwamu mwane mwono Wakumuta wa shikura Wede ya nijiru Kati ila kuta 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 Holiness, Yami, Sumafuyao ended the teaching by giving us what will happen on the day of judgment. He said that on the day that you accept that God is one, then your name is written in the book of life. Then on the day that you departed and go to spiritual people for spiritual help, for spiritual assistance, then your name is taken out of the book of life. So he allowed the scripture to read to us in the revelation of which he said this is what is going to happen on the day of judgment that was mentioned in revelation. That there is a book that is called the book of life of which the people's name are written in it. And his holiness, Mr. Mofa, said yes. This is what he has described to us that on the day you accept that God is one, then your name is written in the book of life. Then when you depart from that God is one faith, then your name is taken out of the book of life. So on the day of judgment, this is the book that will determine those that judgment will pass on them. It's only this that Mr. Mama said. Then again, Revelation has been read, mentioned that there are two books in the hands of people. It's only this that Mr. Mama said. In the life of every man, whether your name is in the book of life or not, there are two books in your hand. One which is recording the good that you do on earth, and one which is recording the part you do, the part you do on earth, or the sin you commit on earth. So his holiness, Yami Sumawa said, on the day of judgment, as revealed in the revelation to us, he said, the book of life will be taken, and if your name is not found in the book of life, he said, there will be no judgment for you, you will be cast straight to hellfire. But if your name is found in the book of life, it is this that will now help you that the two books in your hands, which one is recording your good that you do on earth, and one is recording the bad, bad that you do on earth, these two books will now be used to pass judgment upon you. So it's only that Mr. Mofu has said that the true religion called as Sunjo Tuntu Sunda has come now. We who have believed and convicted and have come into the true religion of God, he said we should try to be a true followers of as Sunjo Tuntu Sun. We should be a true members of a sujet to do so and not just a mere um, attendant or any mere follower, just like that. 
His Holiness Shami Sumafu has said that it is this that will help us to attain salvation on the day of judgment. And that for us to accept that we want to be members of Asuye to Tunsu, then we should see to it that we are following Asuye to Tunsu diligently. He said he will end here and that he thank all of us. His Holiness Shami Sumafu, at any time we urge you 